Hello, and in this video, uh, we are going to address the National Council of Cor Corvette Clubs dilemma of to which case they have to identify NCCC members and then their ID and then there's a various uh, a point totals and things like that that are uploaded to the um, home office. But nonetheless, we're going to get right into it and we're going to start with the events. There's an event that I have here. It's the first annual test event car show. If you look, there's five people attending. Now, before I tap on it, what I've done is I've addressed this issue by just simply on the last name, uh, putting a dash and then the NCCC uh, ID designation there for those particular users. In this case, I've created uh, just some bogus IDs for individual users. So you can see clearly that these um, users, myself included, James McGuire, dash mw dash zero one zero dash zero 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 two uh and so on and so forth with lucy jones and frank williams and mike jones so nonetheless you can see that there that these particular users can be easily identified but let's show you how this would work in an actual show so this event is already uh created there's some users that have joined now we're going to go into the event judging category and we are going to in this case, walk in a participant. So this is how we do it. You do it by check-in. You do manual check-in. So you tap on that. You tap on the plus. And then if it's a car or bike, obviously we're going to say car in this case. We're going to say um, uh, Larry Wells. And then we're going to create an NCCC designation for them. And then we'll just type in email and then all the asterisks that you have here. So if you select year, it'll come up automatically with a year. So you can select whatever vehicle that you want. So in this case, we'll say 72 um, Chevrolet Corvette US and then we'll pick Illinois and we'll scroll down here. The other stuff doesn't need to be filled in, but we're just going to put something down here so we have something right so and then we select a classification normally there would be more classifications than this here but because this would be done pre-show I just created this for just an example sake so I'm going to select top question mark and then you can add a photo you don't have to add a photo if you add a photo it's very simple I'm just going to select any vehicle here. I was an advantage Chevy, so we'll select that. And then you just say submit, and that person's already checked in. So how you would see that is the manual check-in. You would see that Chevrolet Corvette. You would see Larry Well, and then dash their NCCC designation, their year, their make the model obviously is there, and the plate. If you need to make any changes, you just tap the pencil and you can go ahead and update. But in this case, we're not going to do that. So let's say I want to judge Larry. Then you go to the rate participant section here in the manual entry because we manually entered them in. You select by their plate. I believe it was A, um, nope, M. And you see Larry shows up. You tap on it. Obviously, if there were more classifications, you can select those classifications to judge against or you can just have the one. We're going to select this one. It's just a simple form in this case. I'm going to select Larry and we're going to give him a complete and total 125 point score. I'm going to say very nice car done and Larry is done. That's it. And if you were to go to the event dashboard right below the rate participants to the bottom left hand corner of the screen here you'll see top 100 classifications and now you can see everyone rated in order from highest to lowest. You have Larry that's in first, Frank that's in second, Lucy is in third. In this particular case, all three I can tell are National Council of Corvette Club members and therefore you can be able to allot them the points that need to be communicated back to the NCCC. The other uh, users down here at the bottom uh, have not been judged because they're in red. As you can see, the score is, re is zero. So this is how you're able to tell <clears throat> who's been judged, who hasn't been judged, and then the point totals. So this way you don't have to go through sorting various different uh, documents and things of that nature. 
Um, the participant rating, this is just something that's uh, best. This is a viewer's choice only for folks that are participating in the show. They can vote for the top three vehicles that they want within each classification, including their own. And then those, those vote totals are, are displayed here from highest to lowest. And I haven't really done anything with that. If you don't want to use that particular feature, you toggle it off, it doesn't show up. But let's go back to the judge rating here. So let's say someone is a part of the system and now you want them to um, be checked in. So we're gonna use the iPhone to the right hand side of the screen here and we're going to scan that person to make sure that they check in. So if I just tap on the uh, card there in my garage and then I decide to scan, I just tap scan and you see how quickly that came up. You choose it and the vehicle was already, uh, the, this vehicle is checked in by me. So I've already checked it in. If you need to rate them, again, scan. You just go at, back, scan the QR code, just like you would at a grocery store when you're checking out. You give it a point total, say, um, and submit, and that's it. And then basically going back to the event dashboard that we had spoken about, the event dashboard you can see right here. Now you see Mike Jones has got 106 points and he is now fourth in this particular classification. What's nice about this is if you have any ties or what have you, you can always go back to it just by going to the, um, to the event dashboard as you would. You're already there you can tap and hold. If you're an admin, you say, are you sure you wanna update this rating? If you say yes, you can actually lower that score without actually having to go to it. And now you can see that that user has now dropped down a little bit. So that's pretty much how it works. There isn't much to it. I think uh, for the NCCC members, this solution would work for you with the system as it stands today. If there are any questions, please contact me at support at trophycloud.com that's support at trophycloud llc excuse me dot com it's support at trophycloud llc.com uh, and i can respond back to you within a 24-hour period also there's a report that's given 24 hours after your event it will have all of this information as you see it on the left hand side of the iphone in regards to the judge ratings the particular uh, participants their scores, and then also you will see if they have their NCCC designation at the end of their last name, you'll see that too as well, so that way you can allow points for them. I also have, uh, have that report that I can show upon request at this point in time because I can't add it to this video. All right, thanks, bye.